I'm going to make a nine tree bonsai forest planting and we're going to go straight to it. Hi and welcome to Blue Sky Bonsai. My name's Dave and in this video I'm going to use these nine ginkgo bilobas to make a forest planting. If you've seen any of my earlier videos you might have seen this five tree planting and I've never really been happy with the layout. They're beautiful trees, I love the ginkgo bilobas but the spacing is very even so one of my goals that I'm going to try and achieve today is to make it look like a real natural forest, a small forest of real trees. I have to admit, I'm kind of in love with ginkgo biloba as a species. And if you want to see why, you should watch my earlier video on them. So I already had this one, I would say probably about nine, ten years old. But then more recently I bought four of these little whips. I think it might be a different cultivar so ginkgo biloba is only one species but there are different cultivars So it's time for some whiteboard action and I wanted to show you a bit of my thought process while I'm planning this ginkgo forest. Firstly, for a forest planting I recommend a shallow wide pot and probably quite a bit wider than you think you need. And for design ideas I'm going to draw on the experience of two bonsai masters, one past and one present. Firstly, John Naka. In his book Bonsai Techniques 1 there are some excellent explanations with dozens of examples of forest arrangements and he recommends to arrange the trees so that the silhouette forms a lopsided triangle. And here's John Naka's famous Goshin forest where that silhouette is evident. He was a great guy and I would love to have met him if I had a time machine. Now one of Naka's planting ideas is for nine trees in a rectangular pot in three subgroups of three trees. But personally I'm not so keen on a rectangular pot for a deciduous forest. So let's go to an oval pot. One suggestion of NARC is to plant the trees in a kind of spiral fashion and in two main groups so you can see a clear path between them. I quite like that, we'll keep it in mind. And now we're going to move to a present bonsai master and one that I have met and I can tell you he's a very generous and lovely guy. Peter Chan in his book Bonsai Masterclass recommends this arrangement for nine trees in an oval pot. I do like this design and it allows you to add more trees to the back of the planting in the future if you want. In the end I think I'll just do a hybrid and design it by eye as I go along. Starting with the largest tree and planting each tree diminishing in size. So one thing to consider about the ginkgo is that they are not really good at taking very severe root pruning so you have to be careful with the root pruning. Yeah pretty healthy roots but you can see they're a really big sideways fat woody root that is going to cause problems in a shallow pot. Cut it there. That's quite a big piece of root mass. Well, at least it's going to sit a lot flat on it. Now that one there, in a forest planting, you don't really need low down side branches because you want to be able to see the trunks. And we'll leave the rest to help grow the roots out. And now it's time to unpot these five trees and see how they're doing inside. So take the moss off and store that. It's a lovely smell of moss as you're taking it off. Some long windy roots. 
I'm looking very healthy. So now I need to carefully work them apart. First tree out, not that many roots left on it, enough. Now that one's looking a bit more healthy. So I've got my nine ginkgos all root pruned and ready to pot up. I got this beautiful pot. It's glazed blue, which I think looks really good for ginkgos. It's big enough for nine tree planting. So I'm just gonna finish putting the wires in ready. I might have overdone the wiring, but actually it gets very windy here. So it's better to overdo it. Let's fast forward. What I've noticed is that there are actually two different shades of blue here. If I turn it round, there's a lighter blue that side and a deeper blue this side, and I really like that. It means if I get bored of the deeper blue or the lighter blue, then I can repot and turn it round the next year. I think I like the deeper blue, so I'm gonna call that the front of the pot. This is just 100% Akadama. And because this is a pretty shallow pot, you can see in my video about shallow versus deep pots. It will retain the water pretty well, even in the hot Madrid sun. I'm gonna pile it up a little bit more on this side. Getting a bit windy, which I don't want whilst I'm doing a repotting. So in a forest planting, we wanna start with the biggest tree first. So I'm gonna just put them in first and we can prune up afterwards to the right size and shape. Let's make sure that the wound is at the back. So I'm gonna put it just about here. And I'm gonna start by wiring this one in. So there you go, first one in place see how that's looking from the front. Pretty good. Now let's find the second biggest tree. Now with the wound to the back and the branch is going that way so I think it's looking good like this and just for now I'm gonna tie this wire on loosely just for the sake of holding it in place. There's this one, and I've done that one loosely, and I'm going to need to put more soil under there. There, that's good. Let's see how that looks. Not bad. Yeah, pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is just wire these two trunks together should be thick enough just to hold them in place. Easy to remove in a few months time. There, that's good. Let's see if I've got the angle right. Yes, I th think I do. And the next biggest, is I think this one. See how that looks. Now that's a bit better. Over this side, I wanna put the three next trees and probably about here in the middle, the three smallest trees. Let's go to tree number four. See how that looks. A bit better. Now we're going to put two trees behind it.
nearly finished. It's looking good already, but I do need to trim it down to shape. If you remember, we want to do a, a kind of a triangle that goes to there and then steeper down that side. This one has got to come off, so. so we keep the triangle coming down much more steeply on this side. <laughs> 